Uh oh. Broken plastic fairing. It's time to turn up the heat. Welcome back to Peach's Place. Welcome back to Peach's Place. My name is Peachy and this is my place. So welcome back. There's my uh, plastic quarter panel off the bike or side panel off, off the bandit. It's split there, it's vibrated at some point, it's developed a crack and it's just gotten bigger and bigger over time. I've been meaning to do it and I keep, there's just other things getting in my way. And the stupid thing is, of course, that this doesn't actually cost anything to do, so there's absolutely no reason for me putting it off so long. But there you go. So I have in here some, <coughs> some uh, wire wraps, zip ties, a bit of uh, metal wire. Now, that's stuff you can buy. I tend to collect broken ones if I cut off any or if I even find them on the floor, I'm forever picking up bits of cable tie that I find. And what I do, and this is a good idea, I think this is something I suggest everyone do, I keep this box full of bits of wiring, things that I've taken apart, I've done this for years, taken apart CD players and stuff, when you, whenever I get earphones from mobile phones and tablets and chargers and things, I just keep all the cables. That's off a cigarette light or, or um, you know, the um, AC adapter thing for your car. The phone cable. Um, all sorts of bits and pieces. All sorts of cables in there, look at that. Headphones and... And this is how I splice my mic uh, for the vlogging thing. Now, I did have tons bits of zip tie like this in here and lo and behold when I've gone to look for it I can't find any so it's just as well that I've got a bag full of them um, got a couple of paper clips these are thicker and might actually be better I don't know I'll see how that goes but I might use these but yeah I think this is a great idea. I think this is something that everyone uh, who does a bit of tinkering should do. Get themselves a box like this. Fish and tackle box. It's handy because it's got trays with different compartments in it. Um, my soldering iron lives in there. As well as things like black tape, electrical tools and things like that. So, anyway, on with this. It's time to revisit this subject. I've done a video on plastic welding before on the uh, Kawasaki on the ZZR and um, it's not actually one of my better videos in terms of views which is surprising um, there you go I guess not a whole lot of people willing to melt the, their plastic fairing they just buy new ones or use fiberglass but it does work and I'm here to prove it to you so I'm going to crack on with that right so what you need for a bit of plastic rolling, I've already mentioned the cable ties and uh, paper clips or a little bit of little bits of wire. Where is it? There it is, little bits of wire. And you need one of these things, a soldering iron. If you haven't bought one, or if you haven't got one, get one. They're a good investment. This one's by Draper. It's probably the best bit of kit that I've ever bought from Draper, to be honest, because um, as you know, I'm not very fond of them. Most of the stuff I've bought on the back side of your fairing. Okay, you split. There's my split in there. And on the back side of your fairing, you want to melt a channel that covers both sides of the split. outside, in case you hadn't uh, guessed, melting 
Um, you know, molded plastic, it's that, what's it called, plastic injected or something like that, PVC. Careful you don't go too far, you don't want to burn clear out on the other side. I've got a little bit on the other side there. The idea of doing it is a little bit on the outside there, not too much. The idea of doing it on the back edge is that you're not messing with your surface there. That won't matter, no one's going to see that. Um, I could rub this down and respray it, but then what would happen is I'd end up having two different coloured panels. Um, I'd rather just keep that crack on the front, fix the back so that it holds. Okay, so once that's done, this is where I usually use paper clips, safety pins, things like that. I'm going to try this bit of wire. Um, just to try and see how it, how it goes. So the idea is you're going to use the wire as like stitching because while well, you can melt the plastic and it will hold for a short time, it doesn't tend to hold very long on its own. So having the wire in there gives the plastic something to grip to um, and that will actually hold it. And it will act as, as I say, like stitching. Okay, so you can see where I've just got that in there. Here's the fun part. This is the science part. Touching the wire, it should work. I know it conducts electricity. I know that because, well, I won't tell you why. <laughs> I had a bit of fun with it recently. To say the least. Um, but if you just, just touch that with your iron, it's going to conduct the heat. And as that heats up, it will melt into the plastic itself. As you can see there, <coughs> as you can see there, a little bit of wire has embedded itself into the plastic. It's now part of the fairing, and that should hold it good and strong. I'm going to do the same right the way along. On the other side, a little bit of um, deformation where I've gone a little bit too close because the plastic was so thin. That's why I decided to use a wire and not paper clips, which are much thicker. A little bit of deformation there, but I'm not overly bothered about that. I'm manipulating the wire into it, kind of like, kind of like an S shape, like a, a bit like a paper clip. There you go. Like that. And the idea is that not only goes on either side of the crack, but also across it. You take your time with it, you've got to be patient. You can only go as fast as physics will allow you. It needs to be hot enough for the bit of wire to actually melt into the plastic. You've got to heat the wire up and then melt the plastic around it. So it will only go as fast as science will allow. Be gentle with it. Don't be tempted to push too hard and melt straight through your plastic. This is only very, very thin stuff. If you press too much, you saw the deformation that I had before. I wasn't putting too much pressure on it, but I went too deep and it's showing through on the other side. 
So if you start pressing hard on it and you start leaning on it, you're going to melt right through the plastic. And then you're going to knacker it and then there's no fixing it, then you have to buy a new one. There's my second bit. You can see where the plastic is melted over it. And this stuff dries really quick, by the way. It'll go hard really quick. So, you know, don't just melt it and think, all right, it's nice and soft now. I've got plenty of time to work with it. No, you need to stay on top of it. Hard to the touch. Hard to the touch. And brittle. But by the time that cools and cures, give it now you can see. So. Look how good that side looks compared to that side. You can if you want rub it down when they finish, but I wouldn't bother. I wouldn't bother. So the only reason I'd rub that down is if it actually interferes with the panel being placed in the bike. So a little bit annoyed about that there, but what are you going to do? So there you go. Try it yourself and I'll see you next time. Hello. Hello. Welcome to Peachy Place. Ah.